हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एमबीए करो आई एम श्योर यू आर ऑल सेट फॉर कैट 2023 इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू सम एग्जाम डे टिप्स दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो सो दैट यू आर स्ट्रेस फ्री एंड डू वेल ऑन द एग्जामिनेशन रिमेंबर इट इज नो लॉन्गर अबाउट एप्टीट्यूड इट इज नाउ अबाउट एटीट्यूड हाउ इज योर एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स द एग्जामिनेशन over the years i have seen people uh, who have been very good <clears throat> they prepared well and uh, their concepts were great but due to exam pressure they could not perform well on the examination day so it is very important to stay calm and do not take any pressure upon you so that you can perform well on the exam if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media platforms now the very important thing for tonight is that take proper rest even if your slot if you have shift 1 that is in the morning slot ensure that you sleep early so that you get enough sleep before the examination and you feel charged during the examination in case you have shift 3 <coughs> then you have additional advantage you can take a nap during the day time and then go for the exam in the evening make sure that you carry all the essential items firstly the admit card it should be printed uh, you can print it in black and white or colored it does not matter paste the photo right so they, you have an admit in your admit card you have your photo and there is a space so just paste the same photo and then keep your id card like it could be any government identity card aadhar card pan card driving license etc although they have not mentioned that uh, they have mentioned that they will be providing pens at the examination center uh, just keep one uh, just in case that you do not get or uh, it could be anything right so carry it along with you uh, if they provide then it's good so always to be on stay on the safer side carry a pen along with you you can carry a transparent water bottle they do not allow uh, Uh, <clears throat> i mean even this pen both of them should be transparent and you need to be some uh, there are some ten instructions please read the instructions on the admit card it says that you should not be wearing large buttons jewelry okay so they are pro jewelry okay this is prohibited uh, you uh, they will take ask you to take your shoes off so i would recommend that you can go in slippers otherwise uh, like if you are in some uh, cold place you might feel cold while writing the test so it is recommended that you can wear slippers okay they don't allow jewelry shoes they don't allow large buttons belt etc okay so you can any metallic objects are not allowed so ensure that you take uh, like you wear some uh, sort of trousers right pajamas and go to the exam center perfectly fine okay no one is judging you are not going to a party you are just going to write a test and go in a pajama and uh, some loose uh, wear sweater or something so that you do not have buttons and all otherwise they might let's say you are wearing some jacket which has buttons and all they might ask you to take it off and you might feel cold in the examination center so please do read the instructions they have clearly mentioned all these things and reach the examination center on time that is the biggest problem uh, sometimes some students get late and uh, that that is that is the first stage of pressure building during the exam you reach the examination center late you are in panic and then you are you, when you reach the hall you are that builds up that pressure keeps up building from that moment itself so at least uh, like they say 45 minutes 45 to 60 minutes prior to the test time so if you have test at 8:30 reach by 7:30 or 7:45 similarly for the second slot try to reach by 11:30 to 11:45 okay and the evening slot try to reach by 3:30 to 4 3:45 so if you are in that time it's perfectly fine you have enough time to uh, relax and uh, get into the uh, examination hall so reach the center on time if you are in a different city uh, let's say uh, you should reach a day in advance and if it is like the same city or a far off center so make sure that you uh, start early from your home and reach the center on time 
Now coming to the paper. Do not treat the paper as a two hour test. Treat it three papers of 40 minutes each. Okay, that breaks down your strategy. That first 40 minutes are VRC. So go into that mid. As soon as VRC finishes, just uh, refresh your memory. Okay, nothing should be left. VRC may passes tha, ye mujhe nahi aaya. Just forget that. Jo nahi aaya, nahi hua. Whatever you did, just move on. Okay, so it is about switching the mind every 40 minutes. So you're solving VRC, gone in 40 minutes, whatever you did, fine. Do not repent on it, okay, or uh, do not get excited that I got too many answers correct or something, just move on to. So it is a fresh start after every 40 minutes, okay. This has happened with me that once I did uh, like 60 on 60 on DLR and I was in that euphoria for the next few minutes and I could not do well on quant, okay. So I have experienced all these kind of stuff, right. So as soon as you are done with one of the sections, just erase the memory of that section and move on to the next one. Then you need to get off to a flying start that uh, gives you confidence throughout the paper. Okay, so in the initial few minutes, try to pick the easy questions. Like let's say in RC, if you feel that a particular RC is easy to understand and has easy questions, do that RC first. You feel some VA questions are doable, do those first. DILR, may you see one DI set which has come easy, do that first. Quant also, uh, like if you feel ki kuch question hai, ye particular topics you are familiar with, attempt then first. Because if you attempt easy questions in the beginning, it builds confidence. You have that uh, thinking ki, yes, I am attempting certain thing. My X marks are secured in this section. On the flip side, if you start with difficult questions in the beginning, you end up building pressure and uh, you lose time, you lose patience, etc. So always start with easy questions in the beginning. In the DILR section and RC section, because uh, these are the two things which take time, right? You cannot uh, attempt uh, an RC within two minutes. Similarly, DILR set will take time. So take few minutes, I would say one or two minutes to skim through it and see which is a doable one. RC, upar upar se dekh liya, what is the topic, uh, what is the kind of language that you are seeing, kind of questions. Similarly, in DILR, see the theme. Whether let's say it is a Venn diagram based or it is some graph based DI or some games and tournaments. What is the topic? Are you familiar with that topic? See, the selection, the ultimate selection may not turn out to be true in all cases. Let us say you thought ki ye passage sahi hoga and later on you realize that it is difficult. Things might turn but still skimming through these will help you filter out that which one is to attempt, which one is not to attempt. Okay, so although the decision can be different in some cases. But yes, it really helps to select the right choices in the beginning. Avoid speed breakers. There will be some questions in all sections which might be time consuming. Let us say you are attempting an RC. RC was good. You were able to read it, understand it. You did two questions. The third question was a tricky inference based question. Okay. Now do not spend too much time on it. Uh, just move on if you feel that it is it is becoming difficult to eliminate options. You are able not able to comprehend the question just move on same with dilr sets you feel you are trapped in a dilr set just see the questions if you are able to do one or two questions of that set do that and move on to the next set okay do not try to complete the set because it might take much longer than you anticipated same goes with qa questions also you thought that okay this is some geometry question let me draw the diagram and you started doing it unable to figure out you went on to do a question on functions and then you realize that you are heading nowhere in that question. So avoid those speed breakers. Uh, just move on to the next question. Okay, because it is not about uh, like which questions you attempt. You attempt difficult or easy, does not matter. So you have to maximize your score and do not keep any score versus percentile expectations. Okay, and do not panic if you find the paper to be very hard. Okay, it is going to be difficult for everyone. So just stay calm and give your best in the examination. And an essential tip which some students do not know. Okay, so you can uh, take the official mock also to see this. So when you are attempting uh, the reading comprehension or data interpretation LR sets, you will see there is an arrow mark over here. Okay, now what happens is if you click on this arrow mark, this palette is hidden and this becomes wide so you can read more of the text so text yaan se yaan tak you do not have to scroll or you have to scroll lesser 
uh, in that especially in di if there are graphs okay maybe the for graphs you have to scroll this way okay so if you click on this arrow button here this thing gets hidden and the screen gets wider so use this feature to have a better perform a better i would say that experience in test taking many students do not know this so please make sure that you try to use this especially in questions which have large text or large data similarly there is a question paper button also so in the top you will see question paper button or sometimes it might be at the bottom as well just navigate through the window when you start the paper okay so there is a question paper button when you click on it what happens is you will see the question paper that that gets popped up now you can see all the questions of uh, you can see all the text at once okay the font size will be smaller but you will be able to see the entire text now this is very helpful in dilr because what happens is otherwise you have to navigate through the questions right you have to go from 1 to 5 9 and so on you have to check that what are the questions that have been asked but if you see this question paper button you know ki acha this is question number x to y so we know that these are the this is the set am i going to attempt or leave it okay so similarly you can scroll it and see what are the four or five sets that have come in the examination similarly rcs what are the rcs that have been asked in the examination but in order to attempt the question you will have to go back to this screen and then only you can attempt it you can view the questions here same goes for qa also you can just switch to the question paper button and see the list of questions and then you can make note let's say you switch to it and you realize 1 4 5 8 10 12 these are the questions that you have to attempt in the first 15 minutes so you can attempt those so this is a very useful feature make sure that you make use of it some students do not know about it so it is very important for you to test this you can take the cat official mock okay that has all past year questions only if you take that you will understand how this works and try to minimize the use of calculator uh, because the user interface is not so good okay it looks ki ha hame calculator mil raha try to use it at the minimum if there are very large calculations otherwise clicking on buttons and all it is uh, it's not as smooth as you think okay so it is not using a calculator on a phone so try to minimize its use use it only when there are large calculation involved if you have gone through some uh, studied well uh, uh, like at any place they must have taught you some calculation hacks try to use those try approximation techniques right uh, and other calculation hacks that you know in order to minimize this use of calculator remember that there is negative marking in the questions so avoid guess work do not randomly guess the answers uh, it can backfire you can instead of scoring marks you can end up losing marks and wherever you have theta questions make some intelligent guess you have nothing to lose in theta questions Uh, especially in dilr let us say there are six people okay a b c d e f uh, and they are taking some test and the question is how many of them pass the test right so you know that the answer is going to be less than 6 just see that like, like even if you have not solved the complete set you have partially solved it ensure that you attempt those theta questions if you find a set that has more theta questions try solving this set because you can solve partially and rest it's luck sometimes luck factor plays a role and uh, like that can just like you get 3 marks extra or 6 marks extra and uh, you can say a drastic change in your percentile so try to make intelligent guess in theta question so try to attempt all such questions even in quant right there, there will be uh, last year there were 8 theta questions so you may be able to solve some of them correctly some of them might be uh, tricky to solve so try to solve them right uh, put some answers in them what who knows sometimes uh, your luck is luck is on your side and you get some extra marks okay be confident throughout the paper do not panic that is why i always tell do not listen to anything ki x questions y percentile theek hai kuch log bolte hain aat question karke jao chhe question karke jao bachche wahan panic kar jate hain because even solving eight questions is a uphill task at times okay so do not go with any score versus percentile expectations and nahi jana and stop watching such content if you go with score versus percentile expectation 
then what happens is there is unnecessary pressure on you. So just try to maximize the attempt. Okay. Just give your best. Do not think what will be the outcome. Just be process oriented, not result oriented. So I wish you all the best for the examination. Stay positive. Just give your best and uh, have confidence in yourself. You have prepared well. Have, uh, have the belief that you are going to do well on the examination. Forget everything of the past, low mock scores, any other thing uh, you have not prepared for some topics, forget about that. Take the positivities, what topics you are strong at, what things do you know. Okay, rather than focusing on some things that you have not prepared, focus on the things that you are well versed with. So I'll be doing the analysis of CAT 2023 tomorrow. Uh, first shift I'll be doing from the examination center, uh, getting hold of some students who just come out of the examination hall, discussing the paper with you. Uh, then at 2.30 p.m. I'll be, uh, uh, that's the slot in which I'll be taking the test myself and will give you the feedback. And at 7 p.m. Uh, I'll do the analysis of the third slot, uh, taking students feedback. So I wish that you do not fall into this category, but uh, if you know someone who is preparing for CAT 2024, we are starting our batch in December. Okay, so uh, in case you know someone who is uh, willing to enroll in CAT 2024 online preparation, they can enroll with us. So till 30th November, we are offering this discount. Okay, so they can enroll by using the code early 24. So that's <clears throat> for uh, the last day tip, take proper rest, uh, just relax, okay, and uh, on the last day you can just uh, do some activity that uh, soothes your mind, you can watch a movie, okay, or you can uh, go for a walk or uh, listen to music, etc. Just be relaxed, uh, have faith in your abilities, do not go with any score expectation, just try to maximize your performance. Avoid difficult questions, attempt the easy ones and uh, do not fall into traps. As soon as you realize that you are heading nowhere in a question, just skip it and move on to the next question. So all the best for CAT. We will meet tomorrow for the analysis session. So please do watch to understand what has happened in CAT this time.